Hey everybody, Tad with the Washington ATV Association. Uh, we're out here the day after Thanksgiving, still riding, having a great time. We're out in Capitol Forest today. Uh, we took off out of the Rock Candy side today, and uh, we're gonna ride up to Capitol Peak and check it out, check out the views. It's a bright, sunshiny, glorious day, so you know, you just gotta come and join us. Capital State Forest is one of the premier places for ATVs in Western Washington. At just under 100,000 acres, there is roughly 100 miles of ATV trails for you to enjoy. All the trails are closed for motorized use during the winter months to protect forest soils and streams that are important for fish habitat. So you always want to be sure to check the DNR website for current trail conditions and opening. So we started our day at the Rock Candy Trailhead and followed the Divide North Trail to the C4000. The C4000 junction is just over four and a half miles from the Rock Candy Trailhead and it'll take you about an hour to an hour and a half to ride. Like everywhere else, when riding at the Capital State Force, it's a good idea to always ride in pairs, at least. A large portion of the trails are along the side of some steep inclines. You know, the roots and stumps like to hide in the brush and just can reach out and grab a tire when you least expect it. You know, due to the extensive network of trails at Capital State Force, you're going to want to carry a map, and a GPS is always a good idea. Along with the printable map, you can find out a lot more about the trails at Capitol State Forest and other areas to ride on our website at waatva.org. Okay now for the second part of our ride, we made our way down the Capitol Peak Trail. And where did we end up? You guessed it, Capitol Peak. So this is probably one of the more technical trails in the forest. It gets very narrow even for a quad and should be ridden only by experienced riders and definitely not all by yourself. Up near the top, the trail had snow already, which made the ride all the more entertaining. We had climbed from 535 feet at the trailhead to a peak elevation of 2,615 feet. Whew. So traveling in our medium-sized group, it took us about two and a half hours to ride the eight and a half or so miles to reach the peak. Alright, so we made it up to Capitol Peak. We, uh, we came up the Divide Trail and then we took the Capitol Peak Trail actually to make it up here. It's just a beautiful day for late in November. Uh, you got views of the mountains and Mount Rainier and uh, it's just a great time. Uh, I got lots of good friends out here with us and uh, out in God's country it's just uh, just can't be beat. So you really just gotta come and join us.